Hello, and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Fulfill, Fulfill the, the Game, Game of, of Life. Life. If you haven't been with us before, my name is Richard. And I'm Christy. If you are new to watching our channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to like our video. Let's do that again. Okay. <laughs> Hi. I'm, Ri I'm Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Richard. <laughs> That's Richard. <laughs> Well, let me start with, uh, we're definitely uh, getting more followers, more subscribers. So we want to welcome the people and thank you for subscribing. Uh, it's a lot to us. Uh, we're excited to continue to share. So it looks like we're uh, helping and benefiting uh, some people with our information or at least entertaining to laugh at us, not really with us probably <laughs> per se. Uh, but uh, we're excited to make our next video. So in the United States today, it is Father's Day. So Happy in, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. So in recognition of Father's Day, uh, we're going to do a uniquely American video. Our first trip to... The Golden Arches, McDonald's. Junk food heaven. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> so uh, we finally decided we'd been here about uh, three weeks and uh, we're standing around looking at lunch and we're saying, you know what? Uh, we saw the McDonald's just up the road. Mm -hmm. Let's go see the differences that we see in McDonald's compared to the United States. Well, let me start with this. Uh, we told you in the prior video that Hertz uh, would not allow you to take a picture of their employee or film in their, um, in their facility. Well, lo and behold, we didn't really tell you this. That's kind of part two of the story. We went to McDonald's about day three or day four, and we only went in to take photos and carried the video camera in. I was recording their, uh, their menus as I scrolled by with the prices. So we risked life and limb to bring you this live footage. So don't underestimate the amount of effort we had to go through <laughs> to get this and not get kicked out of McDonald's. Okay, so uh, first impressions when we walked in, it was very modern with the latest technology and it was very clean. Yeah, and the employees, when they did come by, they were following uh, COVID protocol, which we haven't really talked about in videos. Most of the city, when people walk by, they have their mask on. And we stood there for just a moment to kind of look around and say, hmm, doesn't look like uh, you can easily place an order at a counter. Uh, so we looked to the right and of course there were uh, quite a few kiosks, so self-service. Right, so when we first started the kiosk, um, it looked like it only had two available languages, Portuguese and English, but the English with the British flag. So it kind of felt like we needed to, uh, for the rest of our time in McDonald's, uh, speak with a British accent. So we talked like this. Hello, governor. Hello, governor. That's a terrible British accent. What do you do? <laughs> I have a terrible American accent too, so what do you do? Um, so uh, we started uh, down the kiosk here, and uh, Christy, uh, I was pressing it, and Christy was trying to look at her cell phone and get not get caught while she was uh, recording. Right. So it's why this is odd angle here. Yeah. Uh, but we ordered uh, your uh, meal first. Right. It was a uh, definitely a combo meal, and I ended up getting the sandwich on an artisan bread. When we went through the side items, I was so pleasantly surprised that instead of fries, they offered health, a healthier choice of a side salad. And so I got the side salad and a little, a uh, cute little bottle of vinaigrette. So I was really pleased with that. We don't really see that in the United States at McDonald's. Not without an upcharge. Yep. Um, so, of course, me, um, I decided, look, if we're going to compare, let's compare the, the number one product, right? Let's have a Big Mac combo. Let's see what the differences are, if there are differences in Big Macs uh, from the United States and Portugal. Also, as I was flipping through, uh, a little bit of a difference uh, between Portugal and the United States. When you go into um, fast food restaurants in the United States and you go to these uh, machines or you order drinks, there are so many more choices for um, soda, uh, different types of pops, basically, right? The Dr. Peppers or the Sprites or 
Um, I, I don't know all these choices. The good cherry news Coke. is cherry Coke, vanilla Coke. Right. Uh, good news is I just like Coke, so that's pretty easy. But there were only two choices here. There was Coke and uh, Coke Zero, basically yes. on the screen. Uh, or you could get. Uh, I ordered a lemonade, which was a lot less sweet than in the U.S., which I really, really enjoyed. Because usually I had to have them add a little bit of water in the U.S. True, definitely true. Mm -hmm. They get really sweet in the United States. So mm -hmm. um, at the end of the ordering process, uh, the bill basically came to about 13 US dollars. So that's two full combos mm -hmm. uh, with a salad uh, instead of fries on one of them, uh, with a large, uh, large upside upsize on the second one, came to about 13 US dollars. And if our US followers out there can um, put in the comments how much a Big Mac combo costs currently. Yeah, it would be interesting to see, mm -hmm. to compare directly what the United States Big Mac combo is versus the Big Mac combo uh, here in Portugal. Uh, so, um, after the ordering process, we go stand and we get a number on the ticket, pretty much like the United States, with a number board scrolling by. Uh, our number comes up and uh, we pick up our meal. And uh, we noticed quite a few differences, we didn't did. we? We did. I think we stared at our meal for a, quite some time, took pictures, just because it was a lot of the stuff was new. Um, we did notice that uh, the McDonald's is very environmentally conscious. Yeah, completely different little little subtleties. Little, isn't very little sub subtleties that I just, um, for some, I don't know, I, it, it was odd that I felt so appreciative that uh, that they had the straws that were cardboard and the utensils that came with the salad were a really thin um, wood which I really um, thought was kind of cute. Yeah it's kind of cool to, to pick up stuff and see that it really doesn't take a lot of effort and change um, to to become more environmentally mm -hmm. conscious as a, as a corporation. Uh, but it does kind of make you frown upon the United States still using plastic straws mm -hmm. um, and plastic utensils every time you go in. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's definitely a win uh, here for Portugal. Right. And we were very happy to see that. Uh, the other thing that you notice here in the picture, may have noticed, is the large drink here in Portugal is not the large drink in the United States. Uh, the United States, I don't know the ounces, we could look it up. Uh, but it, it appears to be close that the large drink here in Portugal is about the medium drink in the United States. And I think over time in the U.S. we started seeing the large just creep up to a little bit larger and a little bit larger. Oh, I can definitely remember my youth where, yeah. where a large was about this size you see on the screen mm -hmm. and today larges in the United States are another 50% larger than this, right? Um, After the observations we Decided, decided we let's need actually to, try to taste <laughs> we need it, right? to eat now. So I enjoyed my sandwich and salad, and I thought I had ordered uh, a beef hamburger, and it, and it seemed to be um, a little bit of a mild breakfast sausage, and I still enjoyed it. It was really good. Yeah, and it looked like the breakfast sausage, and it actually looked like the McDonald's uh, special sauce they put on the Big Mac. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it did have a good flavor to it. it. Did. Um, and the Big Mac, uh, there was no change in the Big Mac, tasted exactly like you would expect it uh, from the United States, except for um, it reminded me what a fresh bun tastes like. Uh, I don't, in years in, in the United States, the buns are just, I don't know if they're toasted differently or they're just staler, uh, but the buns here were nice and fresh. It was, it was actually a pleasant uh, experience to to just kind of remember that side of uh, eating nice uh, bread on a hamburger. So after our meal, uh, we're getting ready to walk away and we had a couple of experiences. So we were sitting there, we had uh, wrapped up our meal and we noticed that there was a microwave uh, for formula in the restaurant and you don't typically see that in the US. So that was really cool to see the family friendly environment there. It definitely gave us a different impression. It did. It, it, was, it was cool. And uh, then I had to take a quick bio break. So I go into the bathroom and there's um, all this uh, new technology in the bathroom as well with the um, touchless uh, sink and um, soap dispenser and air dryer for your hands. So 
anytime I go to a restaurant and I see that, I think, oh my gosh, I'm at a fancy place. But <laughs> <laughs> this was McDonald's and I just, I really appreciated all the new updated technology. So you really just didn't have to touch stuff, no. right? You know, yeah. Co really kind of avoiding COVID. Mm -hmm. So um, as she sat back down, we're just kind of sitting there wrapping up and we had a little friend visit us. Little pigeon. He was hungry too. He was walking around. We were looking at him. He wanted food and we were looking at, wait, he was looking at us wanting food and we were looking at him and he was thinking, am I going to be there food? I need to be careful. <laughs> started running no just kidding but uh the pigeon just you know the doors were open and the pigeon just strolled right in right there was a maybe that's our second cool experience with a pigeon mm -hmm. uh we did as we were eating some pastel donatas uh, mm -hmm. downtown lisbon um i'll put this little video on here where the pigeon comes up and uh, takes a little flake of bread from my finger which is kind of cool. That it's, was really neat. It was really neat. But anyway, back to McDonald's. Um, and uh, we pretty much said, you know what? Um, we got any last footage. Uh, we were able to eat without getting kicked out. Yeah. Took a couple of snapshots <laughs> yes. and uh, said, you know what? We won this round and uh, we're going to get out of here while we still can without being arrested. Um, and uh, so, so kind of the last thing is we yeah, walk we over to dump the trash. And, uh, and again, very environmentally conscious. Um, there were um, bins for regular trash, um, glass, and plastic. So that was really neat. You definitely don't really see that in uh, U.S. locations of McDonald's. Yeah, they just pile it all in one trash mm -hmm. can and throw it away, right? Yeah. So, so that pretty much brings an end to uh, our McDonald's video. Um, it was uh, eye-opening. It was the same, but different. Right. Uh, there's no doubt the biggest difference is the continued commitment to the environment that you see here in Portugal, which we love. We absolutely love that they're that committed to, uh, to the environment here and renewables. So. Right. And I loved that we walked about a mile to the restaurant and that earned me a couple of french fries and a McFlurry but not the other 70 that she stole from me. Thank you. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell people. Uh, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> so uh, th thank you for uh, being part of our journey here in uh, Portugal. And uh, we look forward to uh, making more videos and sharing more things. If you liked the video and if it was informative, uh, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our new content. And again, add comments for the cost of uh, a Big Mac combo mm -hmm. in the United States. It'll be interesting just to do a quick comparison so people can understand. We were able to walk out uh, with, our, with our bulletproof vest and take them off and uh, call it done. So y'all have a great day and have a great Father's Day if you're in the United States and uh, we will uh, get back with you uh, soon enough. Ciao. Ciao.